when I finished my sort of studies, I, I gave it up and I became a photographer at the Argus newspaper in Cape Town, photographing for the property section. <laughs> which is as low as you can go. <laughs> as long as you get the house, the front door and the pool, then you know you're good. <laughs> but the fantastic thing, it, it, it allowed me an unlimited source of film and I had plenty of time to do whatever I wanted to do. I started photographing subjects that had a sort of more documentary feel. What I realised is that the only way I wanted to sort of develop as a photographer was to create a uh, visual languages that actually expressed the way I felt. So it became a very different approach and a very different starting point to how I, how I approached work. In a recent project, um, The Edge of Town, which is sort of... Um, it took four years to work on it, but it took me a year and a half to figure out how to do it. The Edge of Town was a way of coming to terms with change in, in the country. It's obvious that okay, well, I was pleased it was no longer apartheid, but changing a country is, is there's so many levels. So there's never a, a sort of nice, gentle move towards change. So the way I photographed this body of work was there, there was always an edginess to it and there was never um, one point of focus. So there were always two or three and that for me was a, a mirror of how things were happening in the country. There's also a sort of disquiet about them. One might be drawn to the sort of vivid colour, but one's also disturbed because there's a lot of harsh shadow and almost a sort of impending darkness possibly lurking on the edges. On a purely sort of technical visual basis, a lot of the photographs have points of colour, but within quite a sort of monochrome, almost bleak situation. For me, I wanted to be able to capture the sort of sensuality and texture of a, pers of a person's life and therefore reflect who they were through the, through the place they lived in. It's called Objects of Reminiscence. I photographed in Malawi, Mozambique, uh, Congo, Angola. It's also a personal response to the sort of horror at how the natural vegetation and, and the animal life has been done away with in this, sort of, in this, in this race towards progress. At the same time as, as these natural elements disappear, so you get this pro proliferation of, of plastic flowers made in China. I have a perverse attra attraction towards kitsch, especially when it's, it, 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 it comes from a sort of loss and neglect. Or 